Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com and in this video we are going to look at how to use the append query in Excel to combine multiple worksheets into one. Now this is one of the most common questions I get on my training is how to combine or to consolidate multiple sheets. And what we're going to see in this video is one of the best methods. There are many techniques we can use, but this is one of the best. So in this example, I've got four worksheets, each one with a country name, uh, France, Spain, UK and Italy. And I'm imagining that we receive this sales data from those regions, uh, maybe from an external source. Uh, these these tables are connected to that source, so they're updating regularly, but we would like to consolidate them into one sheet for our analysis. Now, on the sheets called Spain, UK, Italy, they are all formatted as a table. So I can see I have the design tab at the top here, and this table is called Spain for obvious reasons. And that's already been done. And normally when you receive data from an external source in the more recent versions of Excel, they are automatically put into these tables. And that's not necessary, but there is an advantage to that. They are more dynamic and they auto expand and a few other benefits that this video is uh, not going to be long enough to talk about. Now, the one called France at the moment is not because I wanted to demonstrate how you can do that. So if I just click somewhere in this, uh, I was going to call it a table then, but in this list and even the home tab, if I click format as table, I choose a format. It's got headers, yes. And then I'll go and name the table in the top left here as France. So to repeat, it's not important that they're in a table as in like necessary. We can combine these sheets with data from a named range or from just a normal range of cells but there are you know a few advantages to the table and it becomes recommended so that's all done let's get on with the combining so firstly we will need to load each of these four tables uh, as a query we're going to have to create a connection and then we can run the append query on them so please don't be misled into thinking we will need to do all the steps of this video every time we want to do this. It depends how you get your data. But in this video, we're imagining that these four tables are connected to an external source and they are updating as data changes. And because of that, our append query can also be refreshed with the click of a button. So over the long term, this is going to be very simple and very quick to update. It will not be as long a process as it will be here. So let's click the data tab at the top where I have the get and transform data group. And I will click on from table range in there because we have this in the table and that will load the query editor. Now, if you're on a previous version of Excel, you may see this uh, referred to as Power Query, and your data tab might look a bit different to mine. It's an area of Excel that's changed a lot over the recent years and recent versions. So I'll try and put a link in the description of this video to a page on the Microsoft website where I explain about Power Query and about getting transform and how it's changed and what it is. Because it's a marvelous tool. But please uh, bear in mind any subtle changes in the appearance of our screens right now. In the query editor, though, I can see it say France on the right. I've got my close and load to button. I'll use the drop down and I'm going to select close and load to. And I'm just going to load it as a connection. So I'll choose only create connection. I'll click OK. That establishes that connection, that query. And it will appear on the right hand side. There it is. And I'm going to repeat these steps for Spain, UK and Italy. 
Okay, so I've got my four connections loaded on the right hand side. You can see them in the queries and connections uh, pane here. So now also on the data tab, if I click on get data, combine queries, and I'm going to go for the append query. That will open up a window. And from here, we're going to select each of the tables that we want to combine. Now we've got four tables in this demonstration, so I'll need to select three or more tables. And then we get this really nice uh, window to load them in. It wasn't quite as simple as this in uh, versions gone by. I can simply select each of these, holding down the control key on my keyboard here, click on add to say that I want all four of those, and then click OK. That's now going to load up the query editor for this uh, appendment. On the right hand side, we've got a name for this query. So I'm going to change that name from append one and call it, um, let's call it all countries. We've got the opportunity here, if you wish, to format any columns or change any column headers, anything that you might not be happy with. But with this data coming from those four tables, I'm going to make the assumption that that's all OK and it's all done for me right now. I shall just choose close and load to. And I'm going to load this into a new worksheet in this workbook. Just getting the data now to come into it. And here it is. We have a table. So I can always rename that table if I wish to use the name all countries uh, from my query. And that is all four tables appended to each other. So you can see on the right hand side how it's 426 rows that they've loaded. And if I go to something like France for a moment, I can see that there are 185 rows on Spain. There's 55 rows. You see this is a combination of all of them together. So now we've done that, we can easily go and perform any analysis that we need to do. If I can just demonstrate for a moment that uh, we have the French one here, we have France. Uh, so what did I say? I said France had 185 rows. So if I scroll down for a moment for France, here we go, 185 rows. On there so in our all countries list if I come down here the last French one is 10331 uh, there it is 10331 and then it starts with a sale for Outback Lager 11037 which is the first one for Spain now if I just go to the front sheet for a moment I'm going to put a pretend new order at the bottom let me put 10332 I'll imagine that's happened on the same date as the one above, I think. That will make life easy. Uh, the product can be uh, Scottish Longbreads. It can be for uh, £100 or whatever it may be. Um, and let's make the salesperson me. A new salesperson. I've just joined. I'll press enter. Now the table that we put those in have expanded automatically. That was part of the joy of using the tables. If I now go back to sheet one, the combination, there's the end of the French one, there's the start of the Spain one. Our new one is not there. But if I click on the data tab and refresh all, in it comes. And there is the order that we just added. So that's what I meant by being able to update these with a click of a button in the future. As those four changes are, uh, those four tables, sorry, are changing and they're updating, we can get our append query, our kind of consolidated worksheet, to also update in the blink of an eye with that fresh data. And we can now go and use our formulas or go and insert our pivot tables and do any extra analysis we want to do with this combination of the four sheets. 
I can come in here now and do a simple analysis on sales rep using our pivot table skills or our formula skills or whatever you've got. <laughs> There's me performing badly in the salesperson list. So this is one of the best techniques we can do now to combine worksheets into one. There are other approaches. There is there is always VBA as an option. There's a consolidate data feature of Excel. There's VLOOKUP. You know, there are options available. But this is right up there now with a way of speeding up uh, and also simplifying. You know, without a formula in sight here, it was quite simple to perform uh, this commonly asked uh, technique. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out some of our other uh, videos on our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergaga.com.